The Committee of the Whole of the Municipal and La Slatura and Guan is called to or order Manana Sizuas for the, the late Honorable Ken Joe Maatnyao Ada, former mayor of Jotnya. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise as we begin with the presentation of colors by the Guam Airport Police and the Guam Customs and Quarantine. For the presentation of colors. This time, ladies and gentlemen, I call upon Mr. Jesse Baez and Ms. Ruby Santos to sing the national anthem and the Guam hymn. Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light was so proudly we held at 
the twilight's last gleaming, whose bright stripes and bright stars through the perilous fire. O'er the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streaming, and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does the star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the of Inifresi, will Senator Regine Bisco Lee kindly lead us? Inifresi, Ginini Mastakalu Gina Soku, Yimastakalum Gikura Sonhu, Zani Masfigu, Nani Nasinyahu, Hu Ufresen Maisadzu, Parabai Protehi, Zanu Defendi, I Hinengi, I Kutura, I Linguahi, I Aidi, I Hanu, Zani Tanu Samoru. Ni iran shakuri retsu gina zu asata, esti hua fitma kihilui biblia, zani benderahu, iban deran guahan. And at this time, uh, colleagues and ladies and gentlemen, I call upon Father Andre Ejuvala, OFM Cap, St. Francis of Assisi Catholic Church of Jonia to deliver the invocation. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you today mourning the sudden and tragic death of our dear one, Ken Joe Ada, who suffered such unbearable mental and physical pain. We cannot imagine the intensity of his suffering or the dark depths of his loneliness and despair that prevented him from reaching out to you or to us for help. 
we cling to the promise you have made in Psalm 34, verse 18, where you say, The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those crushed in spirit. From this, your word, we believe that you, in your great and tender mercy, were near to our dear one at the hour of his death, and that your mysterious saving power was at work in his final moments here on earth. Dear Father, we lay before you the burning questions weighing heavily on our hearts today, and we offer these questions up to you as part of our continuing yet wounded love for our dear one. We wonder if we could have done something to intervene before it was too late. We are second-guessing whether there were signs we overlooked or did not know how to read. We are examining our thoughts and actions, questioning whether we expressed our love and support often enough or adequately enough. We pray that the beauty and gift of Ken Joe Ada's life will not be negated or overshadowed by his tragic death or final pain. Finally, dear Father, we pray for ourselves that you will teach us how to go on living. Show us how to bear the daily pain of our grief and sorrow. Give us the grace to make ready for our last hour by a devout and holy life. And protect us against a sudden and unprovided death. Teach us how to watch and pray that when your summons comes, we may go forth to meet the bridegroom and enter with him into life everlasting. We ask this through Christ our Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Father Andre, ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. And at this, at this time, I call upon Senator Amanda L. Shelton, Legislative Secretary. You are recognized to read resolution number 311-35, COR. Resolution number 311-35 COR, introduced by Jose Pito Terlahi, Tina Rose Munya Barnes, William M. Castro, Regine Bisco Lee, Kelly Marsh Titano, PhD, James C. Moylan, Luis B. Munya, Talina Cruz Nelson, Sabina Flores Perez, Clinton E. Rogel, Joe S. San Augustin, Amanda L. Shelton, Tello T. Tidegui, Therese M. Terlahi, and Mary Camacho Torres. Relative to posthumously recognizing the late Honorable Ken Joe Maatnyao Ada, former mayor of Jotnya, for his public service to the people of Jotnya, and expressing condolences to his family on his passing on behalf of the people of Guam. Be it resolved by the Committee on Rules of Imini 35 in the Tour in Guahan, whereas the late Honorable Ken Joe Maatnyao Ada, former mayor of Jotnya, is the son of Roland and Louisa M. Ada of Windward Hills in Jotnya, and he is survived by his wife, Estelle Borja Marie Alec, and his children, Anchor Sway and Levi Knox Ada, and after graduating from Guam Adventist Academy in 2000, Ken Joe Maatnyao Ada pursued a Bachelor of Science degree in Public Administration from the University of Guam in 2004, becoming the first person in his family to obtain a college degree. And after receiving his Bachelor's degree, Ken Joe Maatnyao Ada joined the United States Merchant Marines, where he supervised the loading and unloading operations 
on the USNS Bob Hope LMSR TAKR 300, which transported over $25 billion in US military heavy equipment, including tanks, Hummers, and Black Hawks, in support of the US military's mission in the Middle East. And during the years Kenjo Maatnyao Ada served as a US merchant marine, he had spent some time in Louisiana, Maryland, Hawaii, California, and Puerto Rico, and he was able to travel around the world to include Europe, the United Emirates, and British territories such as Diego Garcia in the Indian Ocean. And he would always explain that his travels around the world led him to come to appreciate that Guam was the best place in the world to live. And Kenjo Maatnyao Ada eventually returned to Guam in 2008 to pursue a Master of Public Administration degree from the University of Guam, during which time he received an Academic Excellence Award. And he had also worked as a Special Projects Coordinator for the Guam Environmental Protection Agency and the Guam Energy Office, where he helped to implement the US Department of Energy's State Energy Program by using federal grants to retrofit Government of Guam buildings with energy efficient technologies to reduce carbon emissions. And in 2012, Kenjo Maatnyao Ada ran for public office and was elected to serve as the mayor of the village of Jonya, where he served from January 2013 to January 2017, delivering public services directly to the people of Jonya, which included senior citizen and youth activities, maintenance of village facilities, public health and welfare initiatives, public security, village beautification, and the maintenance of village streets, lights, and parks. And after his tenure as the mayor of Jonya, the late Honorable Kenjo Maatnyao Ada served as a teacher at the University of Guam and was a candidate for higher elective office, running a senatorial campaign in the hope of serving as a senator of the 35th Guam legislature, as he was always looking to give back to his community and help the youth of Guam by sharing the wealth of his knowledge and his spirit of service, kindness, and duty. Now therefore, be it resolved that the Committee on Rules of Yumini Trentai Cinco and Elisator in Guahan does hereby, on behalf of Elisator in Guahan and the people of Guam, posthumously recognize the late Honorable Kenjo Maatnyao Ada, former Mayor of Jonya, for his public service to the people of Jotnia and express condolences to his family on his passing on behalf of the people of Guam. And be it further that the speaker and the chair of the Committee on Rules certify and the legislative secretary attest to the adoption hereof and that copies of the same be thereafter transmitted to the family of the late Honorable Kenjo Maatnyao Ada, former mayor of Jotnia, and to the Honorable Lourdes A. Leon Guerrero y Magahagan Guahan, duly and regularly adopted by the Committee on Rules of Yumini Trentai Cinco in the in Guahan on the 28th day of February, 2020. Situ Usmasi, Legislative Secretary. At this time, I invite Vice Speaker, Majority Leader, Vice Speaker Nelson, Legislative Secretary, Senator Amanda Shelton, and Minority Leader, Senator Tello Taidegui. Please join me in presenting Resolution 311-35 COR to the family.
this time, let it, ladies and gentlemen, I call upon the Magahaga Honorable Lourdes A. Leon Guerrero and the Segundo Magalahi, Lieutenant Governor Joshua F. Tenorio, to present the governor's proclamation. This time, ladies and gentlemen, I invite Imagahaga, Isigundu Magalahi, and the Chief Justice to please join me in presenting the, the official wreath of Guam. At this time, ladies and gentlemen, I call upon Mayor Melissa Savaris, President of the Mayor's Council of Guam and Mayor of Derido, the Vice President of the Mayor's Council, and Mr. Angel Sablon, Executive Director of the Mayor's Council, to present the mayoral reef and certificate.
And then this time, ladies and gentlemen, I call upon Mayor Melissa Savars, President of the Mayor's Council of Guam and Mayor of Dedido, to deliver the eulogy. There are never enough words that we could ever imagine that brings enough consolation to the loss of life. Death is the absence of one's presence in our lives, and it changes the dynamic in which we live. What makes death one of the most challenging parts of life is that that change. Suddenly, what used to be no longer exists. But if there's any consolation to death, it's in the memories that we hold of our dearest loved ones. Today, among family, friends, and colleagues, we are all gathered in mourning, in remembering, and in kinship, in friendship, and in the love that we shared with Ken Joada. Estelle, Anchor, Levi, and Mr. Ada, on behalf of our grateful community, and most particularly the Mayor's Council of Guam, I join our colleagues in conveying our thanks to all of you and your families for sharing your beloved husband, father, and son in our lives. At the news of Kenjo's passing, we saw an outpour of prayers, love, and support from across the island and reaching as far over the oceans from the Marianas, the Philippines, and the U.S. mainland, the outpour of messages of sadness and condolences were signs of the impact that one man was able to have on many people. So many posted photos, short clips of videos, and fond memories of their encounter with Ken Jo Adder. If anyone knew Ken Jo, even for a fraction of their lives, they would have known his greatest accomplishments were in the smiles he brought to the people's faces. The music, which he shared with many, his famous song, I Love Guam, and in human services for the help that he gave to others. As the fourth elected mayor of Jordania, he was among the youngest to be elected to office. Ken Jo advocated for more resources. He participated in exercises and trainings, looking not only to elevate his office, but ways to provide better opportunities and growth for the people of Zotnia. Mayor Kenjo would share his desires to provide more for his residents. He dedicated a lot of his time and energy to cleaning up in Zotnia and beautifying his village. However, with the limited resources given, we shared ways to be creative and partnering with other government agencies and private partners. He engaged partnership with the Military Sister Squadron, the 36th Mission Support Group Civil Engineering Squadron, and his sister command, the U.S. Navy Explosive Ordnance Disposal Unit, five, and neighboring villages. He advocated relentlessly for getting more funding for his community. He was an active member of the Association of Mariana Island Mayors, Vice Mayors, and Elected Council Members. And he was part of that organization. During our annual General Assembly, he contributed to committee, committee discussions. And his last, at his last assembly held in Rhoda, I have fond memories of Ken Jo serenading mayors and elected council members he was, presented, he was present with me when I signed 
Daddy Do's sister city relationship with former Mayor Edna Tabandan in La Trinidad, Binguet province in Baguio. During that time, part of the ritual after the signing was to kill a live pig and in the center of the crowd, and both leaders signing the agreement would drink the pig's blood. I couldn't find myself doing that, and Ken Joe said, that's okay, I'll take it for the team. <laughs> and after, thankfully, the other members said they'll take care of the drinking, but Ken Joe ended with this. You know, Ken Joe's sign was always greeting people and expressing with the heart by his chest. He too established sister city relationships with Kampangan in the province of Binguet and maintained that relationships that he had with Teguaro City, a province of Cagayan, Balar province of Aurora in Quezon, Mala City, and a province of Bulacan, and Sister San Pedro, a province of Laguna. After each of these signings, Kenjo would serenade for the host of the events and the guest. Many of our residents have family roots from these provinces, which makes this sister city, these sister city relationships more meaningful, especially when these mayors come to Guam and come to our villages and interact with our senior citizens, with our sports groups, and our residents. Many of our sister city relationships come and express their, their sincere appreciation for our signing that one of us or two of us go to. And then they come in groups of 10, 15, they bring their cultural groups. So the sharing of the cultures is very evident in, in the relationships that we have. He was active in pro promoting literacy teaming up with the International Reading Association. And he was also a champion of supporting culture, the arts, and the environment, while also working with various organizations to help provide outreach and other services to our veterans. This is only scratching the surface of what Mayor Kenjo worked tirelessly doing as the mayor of Jonia. And there is no doubt that he was a pillar in this community. His love, his dedication, and support for the village and its people were tremendous. In the Purpose Driven Life, Rick Warren wrote, time is your most precious gift because you only have set amount of it. You can make more money, but you can't make more time. When you give someone your time, you are giving them a portion of your life that you'll never get back. Your time is your life. That is why the greatest gift that you can give someone is your time. Whenever you give your time, you are making it sacrifice and sacrifice is the essence of love. The best use of life is love. The best expression of love is time. This is time, this, the best time is to love is now. Mayor Ken Joe Ada is an example of love. He was the best expression of time and service. When things went wrong or didn't go the way we were planning, he was always telling us, it's okay. Just keep praying. It's God's plan. Those words from Kenjo continue to be memories. And then giving you, he would always give us a hard, strong, tight hug. To sh and then, of course, showing that heart symbol. He loved his people of Jotnia. While driving through the village, he would stop by a house if he saw a manamku sitting in the porch. 
He would say hi half a day and pull out his guitar from the back seat of his car and he'd sing a song to them. After that visit, he would get back in his car and drive off. He used to share with me those expressions of time that he would spend. I was so touched that he made time to put a smile on someone's face for the day. May his passing be ever, forever reminder to be loved and express love through time and service to others in a sp spontaneous song, in helping others achieve their own achievements, or simply just being human. Kenjo, thank you for your service, your love, your laughter, and the many great memories that you have left with us. May your legacy abound, abound in sight in the memory, the many people whose lives you have touched and inspired. Adios. Julius Masi, uh, Mayor Savars. At this time, ladies and gentlemen, I invite Imaga Haga, Isigundu Magalahi, Chief Justice, members of Imina Trentai Sinkuna Leslaturin Guan, honored guests and friends, to bid farewell to the late Honorable Ken Jo Ma'atnyal Ada, former mayor of Zonia.
At this time, ladies and gentlemen, I call upon Reverend William Smith, Vice President of the Guam Ministerial Association, to deliver the benediction. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise. Let us pray. Our Father who loves us, um, we close this memorial of our brother, Ken Joe Ada, asking for your comfort upon his family, his friends, his colleagues, and the Jonia community as a whole. For you truly are the God of all comfort. You know the hearts of all of us as we are made in your likeness and image. Specifically, we recognize the uniqueness of Ken as he has transitioned from this life to the next, we commend him into your hands, your mercy and love. May all who knew him remember his love for family and community. May he leave all who knew him a lasting legacy. Please comfort his wife Estelle and his two children, Anchor and Levi, and all of his family. As we leave here today, Father, may you continue to open our eyes and hearts to your great love and salvation found only through your Son, Jesus Christ, and his shed sinless blood and his great resurrection, of which we will all partake of. And in his precious name we pray. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. At this time, Majority Leader, Vice Speaker, Talina Nelson, you are recognized. Madam Speaker, I move to rise from the Committee of the Hall and to return to the second reading file and that we recess until 10 a.m. tomorrow morning. Colleagues, a motion was made to rise from the Committee of the Whole and to return to the second reading file and recess until 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. Are there any objections? Hearing and seeing none, the legislative session stands in recess. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise. <laughs> 